What is up guys? Let me go ahead and get this mask off. There we go. What's up guys? Um, JQ here, back with another vlog. Um, so first of all, yes, I know that we're not really supposed to be going out, but I really wanted some steak and shake. And so I came up here to get some. And I just, I, I mean, literally I wasn't even gonna make a vlog, but that lady in there was very rude. And I did not appreciate that. I mean, I understand that, you know, you work a long shift because I do too. Um, trust me when I tell you I have a way more stressful job than taking people's orders and making food. Um, but anyway, uh, how you guys doing? Um, hope you guys are doing well. I'm, I'm doing good. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I got hungry. I've been craving some steak and shake. Holy shit. That is not social distancing. If I've ever seen it, there was like 30 something people in that parking lot. They were all standing really close to each other. Um, at least I have my, my mask from work, but I don't even know if I'm really on the camera. And I'm sorry for the shaky camera work, but this thing is like mounted and it's not a very, it's it's kind of a flimsy mount if I, if I do say so myself. But yes, so, I went in there and I was like waiting around and I mean, I understand I was patient because, you know, they had a lot of people in the, in the drive through So I was patient and she turns to me and she goes, what do you need? I was like, what does it look like I need? Like, what is, why does anyone else stand in a fucking restaurant at the counter? Like, why? She was like, what do you need? I was like, I'd like to order. She was like, what? I'd like... I'd like to order. She's like, oh, okay. She's like, what can I get for you? I was like, can I get three Frisco melts, please? She was like, no, I said, can I get three Frisco melt meals, please? And she goes, is that just the sandwich? Bitch, I just fucking said, can I get the meal? Like, that was the point. So you didn't have to ask me that question. But anyways, it's just like, I don't know. Like, I, I, was, I, was, I wasn't rude to you at all. And I feel like I have really good customer service skills from previous jobs and, 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 you know, it's not hard. You know, I mean, the main thing is if you're gonna work in a position like that, you need to be able to, um, you know, put your, you know, you might have had a stressful shift, you might have shit going on at home, but you gotta put it aside. You know, I have to put my, you know, life aside. When I go to work, everybody does. If you deal with people, which a lot of jobs nowadays that are still actually open, deal with people. Like it's a necessity, you know? Wow, gas is really low, like 158, Jesus. That was unnecessary to be rude like that. I mean, the one thing that we need in today's time is to stick together and, and respect each other and care for each other. And that is not the way to do it, you know? That is definitely not the way to do it. Um, if you work in any sort of thing where you have to deal with people, any sort of customer service position or anything, not just in the medical field or anything like that, or any first responders, something other than those fields, and you're still in customer service, you're still included in that backbone right now of you needing to be um, courteous and, and respectful and show people that there's still decency in the world and show people that there's still hope, you know? Show people that, you know, people can still care about each other, even in times like this. And that, that just, that just kind of ticked me off. I was like, why are you coming at me this way? I, I didn't, I did nothing to you. Um, and I, again, I understand that we all have families to feed and that's why I'm out now. And you know, we all have to make money, but if you're gonna make money in customer service, then you need to be customer service friendly. You know, you need to serve the customer. And I'm not one of these people that's like, oh, I feel like nobody should ever be rude to me, but that was just unnecessary. You know, she acted like I was offending her. Uh, and it wasn't, it wasn't like that. I hadn't said anything to her. So, um, you know, I had grabbed one of those uh, tickets I have in my pocket here. I grabbed one of these, one of these like feedback things, but I don't think I'm gonna call. I, I don't think I'm gonna call because I understand she could be having a bad day. And I'm, I, I really am understanding of that, honestly, but it just it just kind of came at me wrong. I was like, what? Yeah, how you guys doing? There's been a lot going on. I mean, everybody's pretty much at home. I mean, they're not, 
<laughs> but they should be. A lot of people are at home or staying at home, and that's good. Um, keep it up. And I, I say that as I'm literally out of the house. You know, I was, I'm only leaving for a second, and, you know, I'm not like, it's not like I'm, uh, I'm around people. Like those people back there in that parking lot, there were like 30 or 40 people back there. That's not, that's not what we need to be doing. Wow, this camera's really clear. But that's not what we need to be doing. We need to be staying away from things like that. It's just sensible. I mean, you're not just caring for yourself. You're caring about, you know, you're you're keeping not just yourself and your family safe, but you're keeping those those older family members who are more at risk, those people that are like 60 and up, um, you know, that have underlying health, um, health conditions, health concerns, stuff like that. You know, we're doing this for them because they are most at risk. And so, you know, staying home is not just a thing that people are telling you to do. It's actually, you know, the number one way we're going to get rid of this thing. Um, and so, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> like 30, 40 people in a parking lot. And they're all, like, they were all, like, squished together. It wasn't like they were all six feet apart. They were all, like, bunched up in a group. Like, they were about to take a picture or some shit. Yeah, I just, I just really wanted some steak and shake. If you guys ever are craving like any sort of like um, really good um, sandwich or a really good steak burger or anything like that, I would highly recommend, highly, highly recommend the Frisco Melt from Steak and Shake. It is really good. I tried it last week and I absolutely fell in love with it. I'm forcing all my family members to try it too. It's crazy. But yeah, other than that, um, things have been going good on the gaming channel. I recorded my first of like three recorded videos that I want to do within the next like week or so. TA5 Hulk mod video, so definitely check that out. If you see a mod and you want me to try it out on the channel, then I have a suggestions um, channel in my Discord. My Discord's always in the link in the description. Um, it's always linked in the description, sorry of my videos and it's also on the about tab on my channel so if you go to my channel click on the about tab the link's going to be there it'll never expire so you don't have to worry about it not working or anything like that um and yeah and that's a great way to get notified of my videos because you know some people forget to hit that little bell and get notified of my videos i mean you don't i'm not telling you to but some people like for channels that i really like to watch and i want to get notified when they upload a video so that i don't miss it or when they go live or something like that, sometimes you forget to hit that bell or sometimes it automatically turns itself off. Like sometimes I know when my YouTube app updates for a certain channel, that bell goes off, it turns off and I have to go back and turn it back on. Discord, if you have push notifications on, it'll always notify you when a video goes up or when somebody goes live or something like that, it'll always notify you. So that's, you know, that's basically the two things that the Discord are for, are me getting suggestions from you guys to see what you guys want to see, and also for you guys to get notified of any activity that happens on the channel, like uploads or streams or stuff like that. Um, and I think I'm actually going to stream tonight. Um, I don't know what day it is, like Wednesday? <laughs> but I think I'm going to stream tonight, probably either American Truck Simulator or Call of Duty. Uh, Modern Warfare, the War Zone, the Battle Royale mode, because I've I've been having a lot of fun with that recently. But yeah, so I just wanted to make a vlog and you know talk about some stuff, and I'm I'm actually really enjoying making vlogs. It, it's something that I tried to get into a while ago, and I couldn't really get into it much. But uh, um, I, yeah, I couldn't really get into it much, and that, and I didn't really have the time. Um, but I kind of have a little bit more time now, um, and you know, stuff that happens in life, you know, I just, I just turn the camera and start talking about it, and that's really what a vlog is about to me, so, yeah, but that's pretty much it for me, I do hope you guys enjoyed again, um, hit the like button if you want to see more vlogs on the channel, because I do want to know if you guys actually are interested in these, and they actually entertain you, and you actually want to keep seeing them. So, yeah, definitely hit the like button if you want to see more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.